Hey guys, what's up? Today I thought I would do um a faux makeup e look thing. I used seven, I think, of the shades from the Elf and Omega collection from Notorious and Morbid, which I had not used yet, and I'm glad I did because they're pretty banging. I like them a lot. So if you want to see everything that I did to my face, then just keep watching. Okay, so as you can see, um, there's a pretty dramatic difference here, and I actually wasn't planning on filming this at all. I was just playing around with it, and I just thought it turned out kind of neat and very full time, and I wanted to show you all how I got this look. I'm going to attempt to show you also the, um, how I did the lashes and my brow, <laughs> you can see. Um, I've been doing my brows um, beforehand lately when I do eye looks and um, because like you know that's just no one wants to see that I don't want to see that but um, yeah I'm gonna show you how I do my brows and attempt to put false lashes on on camera so let's see how it goes <laughs> all the eyeshadows that I'm using today are from Notoriously Morbid um, the first thing I'm going to do is prime my eye with um, Max Paint Pot in Painterly because I've not used this in a long time. It has a slight tackiness to it, which makes it really decent for using um, pigments dry, I think. The first shade I'm using is called Philosor. I cannot pronounce this shit. <laughs> Philosoroscope? I don't feel a thoroscope. I'm not sure. Um, and I'm just going to take that on. Um, I'm going to take that on a Bellium Tools 781 brush. I just got these brushes in and they are absolutely fantastic. Um, I got them on a recommendation from my friend Kita. So thanks, Kita. And I'm just going to blend that into the crease, kind of using it as a transition color. All these shades have shimmer, but um, a lot of them have really pretty duos too, but we're not going to be able to see all of that um, because I'm not going to be using a lot of glitter adhesive or anything of that sort. Same brush, just wiping it off. The next shade is also going in the crease and it's called Grindhouse. I don't know if you can see how beautiful and sparkly that is, but it's pretty awesome. I'm just going to take that over the previous shade and then blend it out with the blending brush. I'm going to use a shadow shield. I've never used these before. I got them from Lady Moss when I ordered these lashes and um, I wanted to give them a shot. So. The next shade that's going on the lid is called Hercules, and I'm going to take it on a flat shader and put it on dry first. I'm going to spray it with Max Fix Plus because um, I'm a sucker and I bought it, and I use it a lot for this purpose and this purpose only, but you can use water. So this time it's going to have a bit more of a foiled effect. I'm going to go ahead and use Alpha for the outer corner a little bit and I'm going to take that on a slightly damp pencil brush. This is a Bellium Tools 716. It is the first pencil brush, synthetic pencil brush I found that has movement, a lot of movement, and I just happy times. Hercules and Alpha together. This inner corner highlight, so I'm going to use Animal. You can use a Real Techniques uh, random fluffy type brush. In the center of the lid, I'm going to use um, Head Key. I'm going to do this with Shadow Bind, also from Notorious and Morbid. I'm going to take a tiny amount on the back of my hand and rub it all over the back of my hand so I know I don't have like hardly anything and pat it on the center of the lid. Real Techniques Fluffy 
fluffy brush and just gonna pat over the center of that. Here's a lower lash line. I am using Urban Decay's 24-7 <clears throat> pencil in foil squick. I'm going to take that same gray color we used on the outside of the eye on the same pencil brush and just put it down. Going back into head key and putting it back here, blending the two together. And then I'm just going to take this off. Wow. <laughs> For my brow bone, I'm just going to use a little bit of animal liner. I am going to use Demolition from Urban Decay. Um, I don't know if they still are, but these are on sale for really cheap, like $6 or something. So I picked up a ton of colors. <laughs> I think they might be discontinuing them. Don't know, but that would be my assumption. And I'm going to bring it into a point, but just very subtly. So. Fun stuff. Now brows. I use, um, and lately here, I've been using Anastasia Beverly Hills pencil in ebony. And I'm just going to comb them up even though there's not much comb. And they kind of need to be plucked in certain areas. But that's okay. And I'm just going to go ahead and start filling them in. I draw my line on the bottom. I do overline my brows, but I always do so on the top because I don't want to bring them any further down. It gives me the general shape um, that I want. It's not perfect, but it never is. <laughs> Every day is different, I swear. And I'm going to use this, um, I got this in a boxy charm, and it's a Bodyography um, Brow Powder. And it turns out I actually do like it quite a bit. I'm going to use an angled brush from Building Tools. It's a 762. And just pat over all the places it's patchy. Starting with the spoolie and just in the front. Smooth it with my finger in places. That does it for the eyebrow. It's been what's working for me lately, so can't really complain. For my lashes, for mascara, I'm using the Makeup Forever Smoky Lash. It's just the regular one, volume plus length, whatever. Um, still need me, so I haven't formed an opinion on it yet. Falsies. I'm using, um, these are the Marilyn lashes from Coco Lashes, and I'm, I dig the shape, man, I really do. Um, they're big for my eyes, so I have to trim them. Not perfect, but hey, what are you gonna do? And there you have it, that is the completed eye look. I'll be right back for lips and contour and all that good stuff. Okay, so for contour, I'm going to use a Giant from Notoriously Morbid, and it is a very good contouring color. The Wayne Goss Holiday Brush, and um, this blush is also from Notoriously Morbid. It is called Anywhere. And I think that it was part of the Alpha and Omega collection, which is why I have it because I, I don't, I don't remember. By the way, I'm going back to the Wayne Goss Number Two brush and using Harlequin, also more notorious and morbid. Um, this is a badass highlight. It has the coolest. Undertone duo, whatever you want to call it, and I really like it. 
always get too much. Every time. Fuck. Four lips because I have been dying to put it on my lips. I'm going to use Sorceress. Boom, that's the best I can do. It's the best I got. Probably should take my hair down. And the lips almost match my hair kinda. And that's pretty cool. Hopefully the lighting on this is okay. Um, I've been struggling with that. And ever since I moved things around, I'm trying to get it right again. So um, I hope you enjoyed. And until next time, I will see you all later. Bye.